paradoxical messages are invading our space. Things like sleep deprivation is a symbol of ambition, being busy is a symbol of importance, being kind is a symbol of weakness, we play after the work is done, or recreation is something that rich people do or lazy people do. And all of these messages are eroding our minds and bodies, leading to another paradox. Despite all our advances and conveniences of our modern world, We've never had such high rates of anxiety, depression, addiction, diabetes, obesity, and the list goes on. These are all rooted in our genetics, but it's our lifestyle. It's our lifestyle that's killing us. And we can change that. We can make those choices. So let me walk you through what we need to get back to. And I love telling people we don't have just one brain. We actually have a disseminated brain, uh, there's intelligence throughout our body, but today I'm going to talk about three main centers, our gut brain, our heart brain, and our head brain. We've lost touch with these centers, and that's why we're seeing three major global trends. The first global trend is burnout. Burnout is now a medical diagnosis in Europe. It will be a medical diagnosis here in North America. I'm sure all of you have used this term or know someone who is using this term. Hands up. Who has heard this term or is dealing with it right now in their offices? Yes. Burnout, the solution is simple. It's downtime. It's just rest. When we are too busy, when we are not managing our gut brain, this is where primal emotions sit, insecurity, fear, that's where we get those butterflies in our stomach. And when we have downtime, when we sleep, when we rest, when we pause, when we breathe, we're regulating this intelligence, this very primal intelligence, and now we can get to better wellness. The second trend is disconnection. The next global health epidemic is predicted to be loneliness. Another paradox. We've never been so connected, yet we are increasingly disconnected, polarized, having conflict in the workplace, community, and home. We have forgotten that we have a brain in our heart. We have neurons in our heart. And these neurons are sensitive and learn and grow with our connection to each other. We are social beings. And you heard that all this morning. Um, I'm just going to add that uh, Ritu and Fontini are also obviously uh, mental health professionals because despite their backgrounds not in medicine, they're able to understand the mind-body. And that's why they're able to achieve and manage, uh, I believe, uh, these incredible lives and careers. So our connection with each other uh, is our heart brain. When we get back to it, now we can build the anecdote to disconnection, which is collaboration. And our third global trend is disruption. And this one has pros and cons, right? Uh, disruption is an interesting uh, change in paradigms. We are in a rapidly changing world where there is no manual for things like the pandemic, global justice, um, social justice, uh, truth and reconciliation, and the list goes on. How do we deal with disruption? Well, the answer is play. And play is, I'm gonna show you, a very sophisticated human activity. What it means is trying new and different things, trying new ways of doing things, being comfortable with mistakes, being okay with uncertainty. The opposite of play is perfectionism. 